Hey guys, so I'm finally um, pretty much happy with my uh, freelance MUA train case. So I'm going to show it to you. Um, there are still, I think, two things that I need to sort of improve upon, or actually three that I need to improve upon or purchase. Um, so first of all, I got this train case. It's by Caboodles, and it is a 13-inch, I think. Um, it's pretty small, but for somebody starting out, and, you know, I'm not getting paid to do people's makeup. I'm just practicing right now. Um, it's doable, and it's affordable. So mine has this kind of pattern on it, and... They have multiple patterns. They have plain black. They have a lace pattern. <clears throat> they have plenty of patterns. And so this train case actually locks. I have the key. I don't remember where I put it, but I'm sure I could find it. And it, so it does lock. And at the end, I will tell you the three things that I sort of want to improve upon. Okay, so it folds out, and then it has three tiers that pull out and um, then the middle section. So first I'm going to start with the top tier over here. Um, I have three e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundations. This is the foundation that I love to use. It has great coverage and I just love it. Um, and I got it in the color Porcelain, Caramel, and Cocoa and I can mix these um, however I like to make it work. And then I got moisturizing foundation sticks. I think these are in fair, or no, ivory, tan, and honey. So I got three of those. Um, and if you want to see swatches of any of these foundations, if you go to my most recent e.l.f. haul video, um, they're in there. There's pictures in there. And then um, you fold it out, and I this looks kind of chaotic, but it's all organized. I have my Glamouflage Concealer. This is a concealer that I love to use. I only have the one shade, but that's okay. Um, it's a very versatile shade. This is in light, and I mostly use it for under eyes, so that's good. Um, and then I have this e.l.f. Um, Mineral Foundation, and this is good because it has four colors in it. This is in the shade, the medium set. It has four colors in it. Um, as you can tell, I'm almost out of medium beige, which is this one up here, um, but the other ones are doing good. And so the good thing about these is there's four different colors, and then in addition to that, you can match them. So, you know, maybe this one's too orange, you can add some yellow, or, you know, so yeah. Yeah. And then um, I have my Tone Correcting Powder by e.l.f. Let me show you. If you don't know what this looks, if you don't know what this looks like, it's basically yellow, blue, um, peach, and brown. And you just swirl it around, or use them individually to correct whatever tone you want to. Um, and then I have these three liquid makeups. These again are foundation. Um, you could use them as concealer, but they are a foundation. And they are a very, very light coverage foundation, so maybe if we're going for a more natural look, um, that's what I would use these for. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these in here, but I thought I might as well keep them and try them out. And then I have four of these um, e.l.f. shimmering facial whips, and let me grab them all and show them to you. So I have these four down here, and they are in the shade Spotlight. Um... Golden Peach, Lilac Petal, and Pink Lemonade. And again, if you want to see swatches of these, they're in my most recent e.l.f. haul. My next little tier, I have a moisture, e.l.f. moisture stick. Um, this is just kind of for the face, in case somebody needs some moisture. I have my e.l.f. primer that I use, and e.l.f. Uh, makeup mist and set. I have an e.l.f. eyelid primer, um, some tweezers. A dual sharpener so it has the big and the little and I have a Vaseline lip therapy okay and then on the next side I have a Milani glitzy gloss and then again same situation with this LA colors this is in the shade this is in the shade paradise pink and then I have three um, elf lip liners again you want to see swatches most recent elf video they are in the shade natural blush which is that color and in the shade 
bitter and in the shade bark and I think um, bitter and natural blush so the middle and the top one are my favorite 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 and then I have this um, elf conditioning lip balm and this is just in case somebody wants like your lips but better look um, without something super heavy if they just want something very light um, and this is in the shade blissful berry and then I have four elf HD blushes so encore diva headliner superstar and then I have these four elf lipsticks these are from the essential line but I love them especially this red is the only red I will wear it's not showing up quite as red as it is but that is the only red I will wear and these are in the shade sociable which is the uh, pinkish color um, fantasy which is almost a brown color this is my favorite shade classy which is a pinky color and fearless which again the only red I will wear and then down here I have part of my mess first I have seven of these elf smudge pots um, I think I have all of them but one or two I think there's nine so I have the shades Cruisin' Chic, um, Back to Basics, Ocean Bound, ooh this one doesn't have one but it's the white shade, Hit the Town, Ain't That Sweet, Brownie Points. I love all of these, they work great. Um, and then I have some LA Colors Pigmentation. Again, was not expecting a lot out of these because I used to use these. And they were okay. They weren't amazing. But they reformulated them and they're beautiful. Um, so the pink and the purple. Uh, the pink is Lollipop and the purple is Black Pearl. And here I have a yellow and... Uh, I don't know how to explain that color. It's kind of a nudie color. Like a so very soft, shimmery beige. So honeysuckle and sunshine. Sunshine being the yellower one. And then I have radiant. Okay, so <clears throat> I ran out of memory. And um, so I finished that row. The next tier um, is like eyeliners and brow products. Um, so I have these two brow, well first I have this cream eyeliner by e.l.f. It's just in black. This is like my holy grail eyeliner. Um, and then I have two of these e.l.f. eyebrow kits. I have one in light and one in medium. I think this is the light. Yep, this is light. That one's medium. And then I have one mascara, e.l.f. volumizing and defining mascara. Um, I have an e.l.f. Wet Gloss Lash and Brow. I really just use this for brows. Um, and then I have three of these dual pencils. And hold on, I gotta flip one. All of the bottom pencils are black, which you can never have too much black. And then the top ones are different colors. They have so many colors of these, but I narrowed it down to three. So I have this one in Smoky. This one I think is Ivory. And this one is Copper. Let me make sure. Oh, this one is coffee, and this one is called flip side, and I think it's because one's black and one's white. That's kind of a cute name. Um, and then it's a three-in-one brow tweeze, so it has a brush, a tweezer, and then the brow pencil. And then I got these three Milani eyeliners. Um, it is, let me see the shades. Hopefully they're on here. Antique Green, Blue Blaze, and True Black. Although that does not look very True Black to me. It looks like a dark brown. Anyways, that's what I have in there. So a few things I would like to work on so far is, um, one, getting uh, more mascara. Um, because I only have one right now. Two, getting a like mixing palette or a mirror or something to mix foundations on. Um, three would be um, kind of cleaning and sanitizing. So like you can see, this mascara has a little smudge here. Maybe I want to wipe that off. 
Uh, maybe I want to sanitize it, you know, just a little bit to make it look nicer. Um, and then the third thing would be getting more brushes, which you'll see when I open my brush roll. Which, by the way, I keep my brush roll down here. You'll see when I open it, there's not a ton in there. Um, so getting more brushes would be the fourth thing. So those are four things to improve upon. Um, so in here, again, I keep my brush roll. I have a mirror. I need to work on cleaning off that um, smudge. It's from the sticker. But this is like a colorful cheetah print. It's super duper cute. And then I have an HD setting powder. You guys were probably wondering where all my setting powders are. This is like my holy grail. It's like um, Ben Nye translucent powder. Um, I want to get Ben Nye banana powder, but I only I can only order it online, which kind of sucks. Um, and then I have some false lashes, so I have these ones. And then what I did to save space, I have like big palettes of um, big palettes of eyelashes, and so I just cut out a set of two of my favorites. I, I will eventually cut out a set of each, but I have a set of each now. So two of these, and two of those, and then I have the two in here, and I just kind of made them all fit. Let me put this. Yeah, but that saves so much room, because now it's all in this little tiny case. It's probably the size of a credit card. And before, I was carrying around multiples of these, which, as you can see, take up a lot of the room in here. And they were getting squished because they're not very durable. <clears throat> Next, um, I threw this Eyes Lips Face Palette in there, which really needs to be cleaned. But I threw it in there simply because there's so many shades of blush and bronzer. Um, I do have all of those cream blushes up there, but I really wanted more shades. Um, and then there's also multiple shades of shadows. So I like that this was dual purpose. It actually covers three birds with one stone. Um, I know it's two birds with one stone, but three birds with one stone. And um, I love it. The colors are great. <clears throat> the second thing in here is this concealer palette. Um, so there's like all of your corrector colors. There's a highlighter. There's... Um, that's the yellow that goes under your eye, even though it's supposed to be salmon. And then there's tons of different skin tones from very light to very dark. And those actually work really well for cream contours. The next palette in here has nine lip glosses, two bronzers, and two blushes. So again, two birds with one stone, well, three blushes, bronzers, and lip glosses. And these lip glosses are very pigmented. And then the final palette I have in here is my Shani Cosmetics palette. And again, a palette that has multiple products in it. So we have all of these different kind of eyeshadows and um, blushes or bronzers down here. They're mostly all blushes, but I mean a few I would consider bronzers. That one maybe... Possibly this one. This one might actually be a highlight. Yep, that's a highlight. Um, and so if you look, they're almost like individual palettes. Like, here's one. Here's another one. Here's, you know, each row of two shadows is another palette. And I have an eyelash curler. Probably not my favorite, but it was just an extra head laying around. So maybe I'll invest in another eyelash curler. Um, I have a elf stipple brush and an elf small stipple brush. I have an e.l.f. angled eyeliner brush, and then I have the, I think this is a blending brush or smudge brush. Yeah, blending eye brush from their essential line, smudge brush, and I think this is a eyeshadow brush, yep. So I have those three. Again, like I said, I need to invest in some more brushes. I only have um, one, two, three, four, five, six right now. You have all already seen this bag, which I love this little bag, and I keep all of the, like, Santa Terry stuff in it um, and yes I did a video on this so look for that if you're interested on um, how I store and what I use as far as that if you like this video give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you want to see more thanks for watching guys bye